First at 530 tonight, Republic, Republican lawmakers are calling for changes in Governor Gina Raimondo's bridge repair plan. And they say the repairs just can't wait and are suggesting the repairs be made only from existing funds already collected from taxpayers. I would assume supporter Shante Lance is live at the State House now with the new developments tonight. Mike and Kelly, House Republicans, a group of them met inside the State House earlier today. They made their stance on bridge repairs clear. No tolls on bridges. Yes. After a committee meeting, the Republican policy group publicly announced the main goal behind their proposed bridge repair plan. We do not have to toll Rhode Islanders. The group's chairman, State Rep Patricia Morgan, says they want to use less than 1% of Rhode Island's existing $8.7 billion budget. It's a plan spanning over 10 years to raise $900 million for a bridge repair plan. $875 million is for construction. The group says the amended plan does not include any new taxes, fees, or tolls. It will hurt our economy, it will hurt our consumers, it will hurt small businesses and our trucking industry. Our plan gets rid of all those negatives. Democratic House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello says there are other negatives that could come from Representative Morgan's proposed plan. In a statement released to Eyewitness News, Mattiello says, quote, her proposal takes significant money away from RICAP, which provides asset protection for existing state buildings, such as those at our three colleges. So while some highway infrastructure may get fixed under her plan, our buildings will face costly repairs. The Democrats may disagree with us. We will look at any alternative that they propose, but what we will not accept is tolls for Rhode Island. And Governor Gina Raimondo weighing in late this afternoon saying that this plan, quote, is merely smoke and mirrors. Reporting live at the State House with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Shante Lands, Eyewitness News.